This I wanna nail sports to the one Top blog out of the YouTube channel No matter which sports here we got it covered Subscribe and hit the notification bell What's up my wonderful peeps? Sports to the bone here again man Shout out to all the viewers Subscribers and the followers Big up on yourself Alright my viewers and subscribers So we have a bit of news coming up We see where the young man Jaden Seals he has actually won his uh well he actually won the Lanka Premier League. Yeah man, so winning his first title overseas. Not saying that he had the most impact in the tournament or he was the most outstanding, but he was a member of the winning team. His team um lift the title, so you know he's under that umbrella. So we have to big him up. So we're just doing this video to congratulate him. Right, uh, there's an article on Sportsmax website talking about the final, so we're just going to take a look at that. But before we go any further, just going to ask you to go right ahead, hit that subscribe button, also make sure you leave a like and also drop a comment. Alright my viewers and subscribers, so let us get straight into it. Now, based on what the, the thing is saying here, the title says, Seals helps the Kings to defeat Gladiators for their second Lanka Premier League title. No, they, they, they say that Jaden Seals' um, team continue to reign supreme after defeating the Gal Gladiators by 23 runs in Thursday's final to claim their second Lanka Premier League title. No, the Kings took first strike and got off to a good start. Yeah, man, their openers did pretty well with Avishka Fernando and um, Gorbaz getting off to a good start before, you know, one was actually dismissed in the sixth over. Uh, for 35 with the score on 56 for 1. Uh, the English player Tom, um, Tom Cadmore, Cadmore, I think his name is, he came in, he joined Fernando, and you know, both of them were able to put together a further 63 runs before Fernando was dismissed um, for, a, for a top score of 63, uh, 63 from 41 deliveries. Right now, the score at Fernando's dismissal was 119 for two of 12.4 overs. So still a couple more overs to go. You know, still some time where the players could come in and do some damage. Uh, Shaq Shoid Malik came in at this point and he joined up with the other batsman, Cadmore, and the pair, you know, they were able to put together another 62 runs before Malik was dismissed in the, the, the latter part there. Yeah, man. So, mm -hmm. so after Shoid Malik got dismissed, mm -hmm. uh, Shoid Malik was dismissed in the 19 over for 23 of 11 bars with the score at 181 for 3 of 18.2 uh, overs. Hold on. So, so Odema said that. Oh, okay. Now, the Kings captain Pereira, he strode to the crease to give them a big finish along with um, Cadmore to post a very good total, a daunting total of 201 for 3 of uh, their 20 overs. Yeah, man. So Cadmore actually finished a 57, 57 from 41 bars and Pereira finished with 17 from 9 bars. Now, um, yeah, man, uh, Samit Patel, he, he, he actually did his thing. You know, he got a couple of wickets um, for them. Yeah, man, he picked up, well, he actually got one wicket. You know, he got, uh, I think, one for about 33. Now, uh, in reply, the Gladiators, they got off to a spectacular start with openers, Mendes and um, Gonotelica racing to 63 without last at the start of the fifth over before Gonotelica was dismissed by Hasaranga. Yeah, man, for a blazing 54 of just 21 bars. No, things went from bad to worse for, for, for the Gal Gladiators as Australian batsman Ben Dunk was dismissed by Hasaranga of the very next ball for a duck, leaving them on 63 for 2 from uh, 4.3 overs. Now, Mohamed Afiz then joined Mendes at the crease to you know sort of try and stabilize things stabilize the innings but that didn't really last too long as he was run out in the sixth over for 10 from just six bars leaving the gall gladiators now at 84 for three from 6.2 overs now uh mendes was now joined at the wicket by the captain and this is where they tried to see if they could start a uh, um Start to make make the ships, you know, start to steady the ship a little bit, yeah, man. But uh, 
you know, uh, let me see what happened there. The pair actually put together what? I think about 29 runs before the captain was dismissed for 14 from 16 balls to leave them at 113 for 4 from 10.4 overs. Now, Mendes was finally dismissed in the 14th over for 39 of 28 balls to leave the team on 129 for 5 from 13.1 overs. So, boy, my viewers and subscribers, every so they tried to see if they could bring back a, um bring back something, you know, it, it was torn down again. Now, Dan and Jaya and um, Taranga, they were both dismissed in quick succession, you know, so they didn't do anything. They scored move on to 143 for 7 from 15.5 overs. Uh, Samit Patel, you know, he came to the crease. He didn't, um, uh, he, he didn't, he didn't um, hang around. You know, he, he got a good contribution of 22 from 20 bars before he was dismissed um, in over number 18, in the 18th over. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, my viewers, the Gladiators ended um, up on 178 for 9 of 20 overs to fall short by 23 runs. Hasaranga was the pick of the bowlers, um, getting 2 for 30. Yeah, man, um, Seals, he took 1 for 36 from his three overs so um jaden c is uh had a little contribution there my viewers and subscribers bowling in the final um taking one for 33 not not too bad at all you know when you're having a very good day then you know you don't usually go for that amount of runs but one for 33 and taking a wicket in the final um it's not the worst thing especially uh, seeing that you're not the pace bowler Sorry, you see that you're not the spinner, you're not the mystery spinner. You know, um, very good to see the youngster lifting, his, lifting, lifting a title over there, overseas. Hopefully that will give him some confidence. Hope he will continue to work hard and, you know, we will eventually see him uh, becoming better and better. We are indeed worried that, you know, he might turn to the route of what you would call it, franchise cricket and he might walk away from West Indies cricket. But at the end of the day, my viewers and subscribers, the youngsters have to go out and do what they have to do. We can't really stop them, you know. You know, we, we hope that these talented players will, you know, dedicate their careers, um, you know, to, to West Indies cricket. But based on what is happening, is happening in the world of sport, it's highly unlikely that something like that will happen. If you find an a, a extremely talented youngster coming through, once these big bigger leagues come calling in, you know, the IPL, the Big Bash, and, and, and the Pakistan Super Leagues, you know, it's, it's going to be very difficult to turn them down. And it's not saying that they are not patriotic, you know, but at the end of the day, a man don't know how long their professional career will last. So they want to try and see if they can set themselves. And when you look at things, uh, West Indies cricket is not like back in the days when players were able to just go out there and play and play you know for pride and play not to, let me not say they were only able to play for pride because at the end of the day the better players they got their contracts to go and play county cricket and that is how they earn so it is basically the same thing now where players are getting contracts to go and earn it's just that you have a lot of different leagues now so you know um it's not just for one season county cricket you would know that a man play for a for a period of time, a specific period, and then they will return. But with these um, leagues popping up all over the world, you know, man, players are always going to take the take the initiative to go out on the front foot and see um, how best they can they can uh, play in these tournaments to provide for themselves and their family. And we can't knock them. You understand? At the end of the day, we would like to see some balance, but we also understand what is happening. But yeah, that is basically it, my viewers and subscribers. Just wanted to share that with you guys. Let you all know that Jaden Seals, you know, he was a member of that team that lift the Lanka Premier League title. So, gonna leave this one right here for now, my viewers and subscribers. We might take a one or two days break off the internet thing and sort of relax and, and, and cool down for the Christmas. So, just Merry Christmas to everybody when it comes and a Happy New Year once you celebrate it. You know, not, all, not everybody celebrated. So, you know, I have to say Merry, Merry Christmas to those who celebrate it. Just big up on yourself, my people.